I cannot live without my shoes. Um, that's because I dance, so I need my shoes to dance. So how did you guys all get started? So what is you guys' Damn, story? Liz, thanks for acknowledging my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you guys get started? Let's Let get me, this guy out of here. Right to the point. <laughs> Let's see, yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first episode of The Last to Leave podcast. I'm here with Liz, Javier, and Faith, and myself, Jalen. Uh, last week was Earth Day. What yes, um, what did we have going on? So we did aerial yoga for the first time, which was intense. It was actually so hard, but it's so much fun. And we literally did it at a house that was a farm. Wild. It was Is insane. yoga hard to do? Is it? Yes. Was it hard? Yes. It's challenging for sure. Yoga is very. What hard, was the hardest bro. part? Bro, you, every part. You just gotta do it. But you gotta do like and, different poses, right? Mm -hmm. and but like, aerial yoga. Aerial yoga is way different because you're like hanging from this like. <laughs> Put the clips in. So the, it, yeah, drop the clip. Uh, <laughs> you're hanging from like these handles, bro, and like this little like hammock type thing. So you're like backwards. I mean, you're all sorts of ways, bro. Yeah. Ways you didn't know your body could move. I mm -hmm. think you would have been really good at aerial yoga. I mean, maybe. You're really flexible. I mean. I'm not flexible. I'm not yeah, that flexible. Yeah, you no, I'm not that flexible. You literally can like touch the back of your head with your, <laughs> touch the with back your calf. Of my head. <laughs> okay. I can almost do a split. Yeah. yeah oh, do they make exactly. you do splits in yoga? Yeah. yeah. They you made you do a split? Mm -hmm. They made us they pretty make much do, do like a straddle. Yeah, no, it was like a split, like straddle type thing. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could have done that. You would have thrived. Yeah, 100%. What, you went? I did go. How'd you do? I didn't do those activities. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, <laughs> I swung on the hammock. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, so you guys did the backwards thing, right? Like going down. Like the upside bro, down. Yeah, because I saw the picture right now. Yeah. All, all sorts of weird stuff, bro. Yo, yoga. Is it like supposed to be like spiritual too, where you close your eyes and everything just starts like, you know, like. Yeah. One of those things, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because I tried it once and it was like, I closed my eyes and you're supposed to be like into this dimension in yourself. Namaste. Namaste. It's just really relaxing and peaceful and it makes your body just like loose. You're in, you're in, you're one with your body. Basically. I thought it was supposed to be like you explore yourself. Well, this is just aerial yoga it wasn't like a whole meditation <laughs> oh it's meditation like spiritual awakening no my thing. bad no 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 yeah. it was meditation <laughs> I thought I it was, no i confused meditation with He's yoga like that off. was the problem no that was the problem i yeah. confused meditation with yoga <laughs> yo that's oh my god yeah goodness. i ain't gonna lie that was bad that was bad All well right. they go kind of hand in hand so yeah. Yeah. yeah they do they do y'all yeah. so okay. trying to make me feel bad no, I'm saying because you're like going off like it was a spiritual awakening entire thing. I mean, obviously. Well, yeah, because that's what I did when I meditated once. Yeah. You once. Meditate? He said once. <laughs> I, me I meditated once. I meditated once. And it was weird. I don't know. I just kind of like, I was a little like shaking after that. But, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Never again, huh? So it was fun then. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. You guys had fun. Okay, yeah. cool. All so, right. Uh, we got the Taylor girls coming this weekend. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So Go back. Go back, go, 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 go back, back go, go, back, go. Steeler man, Steeler man. Is that, yeah. still, tr yeah. is that, still, is that hey. still trending on TikTok? I don't know, bro. No, I don't think so. Oh, that what? dance, right? I know when, what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, when did it start trending? I forgot, I forgot when it was. It, wasn't it, was, that, recently. it was like a month ago. It was recent, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exciting. Um, yeah, should be really fun. I think we're having like a like a little party slash get together. Yeah. First, last to leave party. So exciting, so exciting. Is the we're gonna roof. have a good time. Gonna, gonna, gonna have a good time. Yeah, yeah. that backyard is supposed to be parties. It's like everything about the backyard is like facts. You've mm -hmm. never even been in the pool. <laughs> 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 Just coming for having your neck, bro. What a hater. Okay, first of all, I was backing you up on the yoga meditation thing, but you've never even swam in the pool one time. <laughs> That's true, but there's a reason for it. Why? What is it? I'm waiting for the right moment. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to jump. Mm -hmm. mm, tell me about more of that. Well, you just got to jump in life, right? Sometimes you in life, take the risk. you'll never be ready. You just have to jump. You have to just do it. Life advice from Faith Montoya. Yes. So, Javier. Let's go. Today's the day that Javier is going to jump in the pool. Okay, no, I'm not going to take a risk today. Why? <laughs> what risk have you taken today? What risk have you taken this week, Javier? Okay, so... What risk? So I was driving with Jalen the other day. I mean, yes, last night. This Remember? was last night. Remember? Yeah. yeah, yeah. We were driving back in the highway. Where were y'all driving back from? Um, um, Bodega. 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 The 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 concert thing that we went to, and whatever we we're driving right, and the map said make a left, but there was like five lefts. So 
I decided, oh, oh, we're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. And then there was one left to take, and or, or I take the left or I go straight. And I took the left because it was last minute, and I didn't know if it was right or wrong. I took it. We were very skeptical. Skeptical? Yeah. Skeptical yep. about it being right or wrong. And then we it just took it. Right. We just took it, Faith. We took it. Was, was it right? It was right. We took it, and it was right. <laughs> and I told Jalen, this is what happens when you take risks in life. That's actually exactly what he said. <laughs> we were driving and I made the risk to take the left. And who knows? I could have been wrong and opened 15 minutes more and would have been in the car depressed and miserable. We almost missed our exit twice. <laughs> I'm not going to get it. Javier, okay. Javier was driving. He was all the way in the right lane and we had to get all the way to the left lane. There was like three cars in between and Javier somehow slowed down between every <laughs> car. Was some dangerous yeah. shit. All the way to the left lane. We was not supposed to make it to that lane for sure. So that was definitely a risk I took. I hope to live life on the edge like you. <laughs> Come on now. Speaking of the house and the pool in the backyard, what's y'all favorite thing about the house? The about, lighting. About lighting. The, about the house? Yeah. Like, what's your favorite feature about the house? Mm. The floor would, to ceiling would, windows and stuff. Mm -hmm. I feel like I love that. Mm -hmm. I would say I love probably the backyard, like the pool. I it's love just such a backyard. vibe out there. Yeah, you yeah. can do so many things in the backyard for sure. Though. 100%. Love the backyard. Yeah. yeah. We should be doing way more things. In we need an inflatable out there. <laughs> inflatable. <laughs> cool. We need humans. Everything. We need humans. We need people out there. Facts. You know? Let's Hit us up for them. the Addy. Hit us up for the Addy. <laughs> Last to leave. Yo. <laughs> All right, uh, so what um, live events do we have coming up? Or live events did we just um, experience? I know me personally, um, I was in Palm Springs at the Revolve Festival, and I seen probably one of the best live performances by an artist. Post Malone, Post Malone. absolutely killed his performance. It was insane. What was it about his performance that you love so much? My, oh, what was it about his? Yeah, what was His it? voice so, like, I love Post Malone. I love his music. He can sing. Like, he can do everything. And just to, like, hear his voice live was such a shock because a lot of people think that he uses autotune a lot. But then you hear him live, and his voice was so amazing. Like, That's awesome. He, it, was, it was just a really, really good performance. And he put so much emotion into his song. So it was awesome. You should have I asked for a feature. Hey. No cap. <laughs> uh -huh. I saw Billie Eilish recently, and I'm such a fan of her music. And her performance was so cute. She's just such a such a cute person overall. And I did cry because obviously the last song that she performed was happier than ever. It was insane to see that in person. Mm. So that was probably my favorite live event. You should have asked for a feature. I should have asked for a feature. Yeah, I should. <laughs> Facts. Um, I was front row to see Ari Lennox, which is one of my favorite artists of all time. That was pretty insane being front row. I feel Wait, like what genre looked, of music do, do they do? She does R and B. Oh, yeah, and I feel like we looked at each other's in the eyes a few oh. times. I know, it was so close. So I, you were closest to the feature, and I knew all the lyrics, hey. and like you could just tell everyone oh. around me was just like waiting, you know, you know, and like not everyone knew all the lyrics, but she kept looking at me like, okay, this girl knows her stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so I felt pretty intimate. <laughs> intimate. That always feels kind of nice. Yeah. Like when you feel like an artist like recognize you because like they see that you know their music yeah. so well. Yeah. Like they're like. You're like, oh, they're like, they're looking at me. They know that I know the song. Yeah. They don't like, they'll never think of you again. But yeah, literally. Moment, they're like locking into the one yeah. person that's singing with them. <laughs> and that was me. And I was to the top of my lungs, <laughs> jumping up in the crowd of people that did not know the words. Love that. What's your favorite song? My favorite song is I Been by her. Okay. Can you sing the hook? I been smoking mm. mm. per Mm. Mm. <laughs> Until I think about you. I'm not hey. gonna sing the whole song because <laughs> I suck and I don't got her, you know, her vocal range. But love that. Now sing your favorite song, Javier. Yeah, no, it's your turn. Say, favorite song? Mm -hmm. Oh no, no, I'm not singing. I'm gonna rap it. No, sing it. I can't sing like Jalen. I can't sing. Don't do that. Jalen, you said you could sing. He sings. No, I did he not sings. say I could sing. He sings. No, I did not. He, he, did. he dances no, in don't. scrubs, but that's just hiding his true talent. <laughs> he sings. Aren't you going to take singing lessons? Sing. Aren't you taking the singing lessons? Not yet, but I am. <laughs> Look at him. Like. And guitar. I'm taking guitar lessons. Okay, sure. well, sing he, a little snippet of something. He's a country no. He's a country singer, I think. Yeah, nope. sing country, actually. He's I feel country. like you can sing country. Get a I guitar. Can't. Get him a guitar. Jack, where's the guitar at? <laughs> Didn't we watch Daniel Caesar? We did. So yes. sing a snippet of one of his songs. <clears throat> Ooh. 
Georgia. Oh no, that's Justin Bieber. My bad. That is Daniel. Wow. Oh, that's no. That's I gotta Justin like. Bieber. I'd but have to like play so I can oh. match. I'm not Through tone deaf, but like. Famine, natural disaster. Come on. No. <laughs> come on. She said, "Come on." Come on. No. <laughs> can you vocalize like a sentence? No. That'd be crazy. Jalen James. Just sing I thought you want to be a singer. I'm Jalen. I'm Jalen James. And I will be once I get to that point, but I'm not comfortable <laughs> enough yet. <laughs> Thank God I don't want to be a singer because they will use that snippet and they'll like rip me apart. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be like, "Girl, right?" They'd be like, "That's not it." <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm not going to sing because they're not going to do that to me. But you actually can sing. I can't. You know, I take pride in the fact that I can't sing. Why are y'all hyping me up like I can <laughs> sing? Y'all I not. I've heard them. You said you you sing. You said Ashley said you're good. Ashley said I'm good. That's my <laughs> girlfriend. She loved me. She gonna say anything to make me you're feel good. You're not wrong. <laughs> not the vibes. Damn. Oh my goodness. So you don't want to sing in no. the future. You want to sing in the future though. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. you're trying to like open up a little bit about yeah, it. Yeah, bro. Are you gonna are you gonna put it into your content? Most definitely. Mm. You gonna start doing singing videos? Yeah. You know like those open verses where people do that. Mm -hmm. I've already like downloaded a few of those songs and I'm like adding my own verses. I have one, but I just need to practice it. So, so how are you going to incorporate it into your content? Okay. Cause you dance a lot mm -hmm. and you do, um, the scrub dancing and all that stuff. I think you do a lot of like cooking too, right? Cooking vlogs. You're like a very like everyday type of thing. I just do it. Yeah. 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 So you're just going to like put it in there one day mm -hmm. a little bit and be like, everything. yo, this is my talent right here mm -hmm. that you guys did not know about. It looks surprise. Oh, what do you think about y'all content makes y'all like different? Like, what's one thing that's like stands out? Liz? Honestly, I think my transitions, to be honest, I've never really seen anybody else do 100%. that. 100%. You know? I agree with you. Yeah. Yeah, she recently went viral um, um, talking to an Omiko guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That, that's another one, too. Yeah. Uh, people are usually, they, they mention my voice a lot. They're like, oh my God, her voice. So, yeah. Did you find them? I didn't. No, I did not. I mean, the videos had like what six million views right now, and they still haven't found him. <laughs> but um, yeah, Omigo's really fun. It's honestly every single time I go on Omigo specifically, I find r really interesting people. Like it's not creepy. No, no, no. Yeah. I see all the creepy stuff. You get all the creepy stuff. Yeah, and yeah I used it's to, like and a hit I, or miss. And I used to do Omigo videos dancing with my boy Lewis, and it was really hard. I mean, but this was like in the COVID era, yeah. like era, mm. you know. Yeah. So that's like it was way more popping. The I don't know how. Out. The creeps were out, but there's also normal people out too, you know. So, so I don't know how you found that video or how you did it, but no. And I have so much more footage. I literally went on Amigo last night, and I have so many other people that I met that are super. Have you guys all gone on Amigo at least once? Yeah. Fun fact. What's you guys' craziest experience? Fun on fact. Before? That's how I met Ashley. <gasps> no way! Shut up! Yeah. That's oh, so see, that gives to, me hope. Yeah. So I used to go on Omega, <laughs> and I I do uh I do like. I'd go live on TikTok and go on Omegle. And so, like, I'd have my TikTok. I had my phone, like, on TikTok showing me. And I'd be like, all right, type in keyword Jalen James. Mm -hmm. So I could, like, chat with my supporters. And so I did that. And Ashley ended up popping up there because she was like, oh, I'm from Kansas City. You know, da, da, da. We no, met on there. Oh, my God. That's so cute. We met in person. Damn, yeah. look at that. That's Damn, crazy. Damn, the 1%. The 1% of things so that actually go well on Omegle. Yeah. Have you used Omegle? I have. I used to Omegle videos. Ooh. My Omega era. Come on yeah. now, come on now. We all got the experience. I feel like I was just trying out n different like niches and stuff like that, but I felt like it wasn't attracting the right audience for me, mm. so I had to move away from Omega. It was like guys being weird. Omega got some weird people on there for real. Oh yeah, yeah. So it's a hit weird. or miss for sure. You're always we're not numbers. advertising for Omega right now. Please Absolutely don't use not. it. Absolutely not. No. <laughs> Please don't use no, it. No, we're just saying what happened in Omega. Please, Please don't no. use it. <laughs> So Jalen, what makes you unique as a creator? Uh, honestly, for me, I think just the fact that like I'm your literal normal everyday guy. Like before I did content creating, I had a job and I was like I was a medical sales rep, which not everyone does, but like I did what most people do: wake up, work out, go to work, come home, play the game because that's my hobby, and that was it. And then content creating happened to kind of take over and I took advantage of it. So just kind of being that normal everyday guy, I feel like that's my niche and people can relate to that. You're relatable. Mm -hmm. mm. That's very important, especially with attracting, you know, an audience and stuff. You have to be relatable. Yeah. Of course. What about, what about you? you, Faith? Now I was going to ask oh. you your own question. <laughs> your own question. Um, 
Um, I think that I'm very multifaceted. So, you know, I was a teacher for a really long time. Um, I like to talk about my education. You know, I went, I got my degree in biochemistry and psychology. So, you know, although I'm into like fashion and things, like I feel like women, you know, we don't have to box ourselves in Mm -hmm. and we can just be every and anything that we want to be, you know, no matter your size, you can wear whatever the hell you want. And I think that's what makes me different, you Mm -hmm. know, just kind of like not having just a singular thing, you know, like really make me, you know, like I don't like to be too niche, Mm -hmm. even though people think about me and they think of like, quote unquote, body positivity. (gasps) Mm -hmm. If you go through like all my videos, like I think I only mentioned body positivity in one or two Mm -hmm. out of my thousand videos. You're just yourself. Yeah, I'm just myself. And I think just, you know, living in that truth, like, you know, people are like inspired by it. Yeah, 100%. I could do I could do the same thing y'all do. But like somehow what I do when I do it in this, like, you know, my body, it's like people are like shook by it. And that's what's crazy about social media, though, is like all of us have our own talents and all of us could try and do what other people do and get Mm -hmm. viral off of all that stuff. But because we're ourselves, that's what our supporters love about us. Mm -hmm. And that's what I love about social media. Like you, like you can always be yourself and always do whatever it is that makes you comfortable in some somehow, some way, someone out there is going to find that interesting. Right. Like I'm a terrible dancer, but somehow like my dance videos do well. They love it. They always do well. And I'm like so bad at it. I feel like, is it because I do bad at it and other people do bad at it? But (laughs) my dance videos like getting eaten up and I just feel like, well, I I shouldn't get better at this point. I just Mm -hmm. gotta stay the same. Mm -hmm. But what about you, Javier? Um, I try to, I try to kind of like push the whole, like be yourself type of thing. Um, and not be so shy and timid and like closed off to things, you know, like, like I feel like everybody should be able to just go out anywhere and just do anything. You get me? Like without thinking about it twice. Mm -hmm. Some of you like it, you know, Mm -hmm. like, like why, why not do something if you want to do it? You get me? Like, if you want to go scream in a store, go scream in a store. Yeah. If you want to go take off your shirt in a store, go take off your shirt in a store. store. If you want to go jump on a register in a store, jump on the register. If you want to go dance in front of a police officer, you go dance in front of a police officer. Assuming, obviously, you follow the laws and rules and regulations of, you know, normal, basic society, you know, society and stuff. I try to push, like... Taking you know, risks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, take risks. And, like, I feel like some people want to do something and they don't because they, like, they, they think it's wrong. Sometimes it is wrong. Mm-hmm. But, you know, what is wrong and right, right? I think that's, like, perspective, too, you know. But, like... They don't want to do it because it's wrong or they're going to be seen a certain way. You get I me? Mean? Right. A lot of people are like scared of hate. You get I me? Mean? Like, when you're scared of hate, you lost. Mm-hmm. You got to be in love with hate, you know? When you're in love with hate. <laughs> in love with the haters. If you're in love with the haters, <laughs> you won. You won. Because as soon as you're in love with the haters, when you get the hate comment, you don't care anymore. But when you get all the good positive comments, that's just bonus at that point. Mm-hmm. You don't care anymore, you know? Yeah. Fun fact right about on, Javier, he's a philosopher. He's really into philosophy. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case uh, someone wants some inspiration for the day, I got y'all. Fall in love with your haters. Fa- Absolutely. Fall in love with your haters. But yeah, I mean, that's what I try to push in my social media nice. like, channel. I got a question. What would you guys give as far as advice? What advice would you give to somebody who has never done content creating but wants to start a career in content creating? Just start. An, as- an aspiring content creator. Don't. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, don't think twice about it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Do not, I mean, that's a good one, too. Don't think do not think twice about it and do not second guess yourself. If you want to do something and you think it's cool, just do it. I like Because regardless, your audience is going to find you. So even if you are, think that your friends are going to see you on their FYP or whatever, it literally does not matter. Because you don't know if it's going to do well or do terrible it's probably going to do well because your audience will always find you um and support you no matter what and people are gonna like people actually care about the that you do so okay so like i always say i always say like in a hundred years where are you gonna be in a hundred dead you're gonna be dead right well maybe if you get to a hundred right where are you gonna be in 120 years yeah i'm probably gonna be dead where are you gonna be in 120 dead, years yeah. probably dead Where am I going to be? Probably dead, right? So, if we're all going to be in the same spot in 120 years, why not just go do it? 
You know, like, yo, just post the video that you want to do. You want to be a content creator? You want to be Jalen James? You want to be Liz Sanchez? You want to be Faith Montoya? <laughs> you go do it. You go do it. And that's it. Right on, Javier. Yeah. That's Come it. on. That's it. Come on. I think that one Forget of... Forget about it. The biggest things that... Like, I saw... I heard somebody make a video about it. It's like, I was always worried about being, like, cringe. Quote, mm -hmm. unquote, cringe. Oh, that's another one. But I feel like cringe... Being cringe doesn't exist unless, like, you live in fear of the cringe. 100%. You know? Like, I feel like you're being cringe if you're judging people for being cringe. Quote, yeah. unquote. And then I saw this one, like... I forgot who it was, but it's like a Dr. Seuss quote of like people that love you when they see your content or like they're going to think it's like the greatest thing ever. Mm -hmm. People that already don't like you are going to like find an issue with it. Exactly. Right. So it's like regardless, there's going to be two crowds of people because I don't know about y'all, but I have like some favorite creators, people that I like that I'm like, oh, everything they post, banger, banger, banger. Yeah. And I love yeah. and I can smile watching throughout their videos. But there's people that I don't like, you know, and they come up on my for you page and I'm like, oh. Look at them doing exactly, it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I can admit, you know, sometimes I sit on the little hater seats, but I don't comment or anything like that. Right. <laughs> I mean, yeah. But people. I just feel like you can't live in fear of that that half side. You have to look at the people that are going to just, you know, keep finding you and keep falling in love with you mm -hmm. rather than the people that are just going to, like, hate you for a second. And most of the time, those people don't even really love themselves. Right. So just don't be afraid of the cringe. Yeah, that's, yeah, I'm not going to lie. That was perfect. I'm not going to lie. I forgot about that. Cringe. Is yeah, that, the cringe who even thing. Who even uses the word cringe anymore? A like, lot of people. A lot of people. Cringe is so, like, middle school, I feel like. Well, yeah. a lot, well, like, well, a, a lot of oh, the yeah, audience, cringy. though. Yeah, they love, yeah. To, <laughs> they love yeah. to use cringy as, like, an insult. But in my mind, I'm like, I'd rather be cringy than boring mm -hmm. and exactly. forgettable and yeah. never heard of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. you ha There's always, in every content creator's on page, there's something cringe. It doesn't yeah. matter what, who it is. There's something you have to go through the cringe to be able to get to where, you know, where you want to be. Like That's why I'm saying that. I forgot about that. Good one. What, it, what about you, Jalen? Uh, Liz, I'm kind of with you on this one. Just post. I'll never forget. Excuse me. The first video I ever posted, um, it was like a, and this is crazy. This is how my page blew up. It was a trend to a song. Um, it's called That Way by Wale and Jeremiah. Um, and it was literally all you did was post like pictures of yourself saying, allow me to introduce myself to TikTok. And you did like a picture with your age, a picture with, um, your sign, a picture with like all these other things it was like four pictures and it blew up and I was like, okay, this is weird, but I'm going to keep posting just cause I want to see if I can take advantage of it. Every video after did numbers and I just kept posting, kept posting until I got to a point where I found my niche, which was dancing in my scrubs because I was a medical sales rep. And because I took that opportunity of that post I had and ran with it, that's, what's got me to this position today. So never give up on an opportunity that you have to post something that you're interested in or post something that intrigues you so that you can have an opportunity to change your life. Um, but yeah, I would just say post. I mean, literally it's, it's that simple. And I know it, I know it's so cliche to say that, but like just post. I actually feel it's not that simple. I don't think, I don't feel it's just post, you know, like I feel like have a direction, mm -hmm. you know, like, yeah, just post, but like know what you want to post, you know, right? One hundred percent. What you want to be, you get me. One hundred, one hundred percent. But the amount of people who blow up on pages just from posting like a video that they took at work or a video that they took at home, it may have just been like something they recorded randomly, and exactly. it blows up. Just post. Like if you find it funny, you find it interesting. Post it because there's going to be a thousand other people out there that are going to find the same thing funny or the same thing entertaining in some way, shape or form. No, definitely. I feel like which is crazy because you say that, like just the posting situation and how people are like looking for stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Whenever I sh before I shaved my head, I kept looking for like hair growth videos on YouTube. Everybody did really fast time lapses of like a day or a month or like, you know, just seconds. It was so long. Right. But I kept looking for people to do weekly ones nobody on youtube or no i couldn't find anywhere so that's when i decided i was like okay well let me just try let me yeah. just do a weekly one my I, the first one i ever posted was only four weeks like my fourth week one mm -hmm. i think it got like two thousand views mm -hmm. my second one was five weeks that's good, and though, it got five hundred thousand views Yo, and then i did saying. that every single week for 52 weeks and it got me over 100 million views and who knew there was a whole audience of people are like wondering, you know, oh, what it would be like to see your hair grow every single week. And now I meet fans out everywhere. 
have their head shaved mm-hmm. and they're like i'm on week 29 i'm on week you know oh and how our weeks look gosh. different you know so it's crazy that just because i found that there was something missing on youtube or something missing on the internet i was like well i'm gonna fill that piece and i just posted it exactly. i didn't know anything about anything and look at me now it's so <laughs> crazy how literally just posting can inspire so many, many people. people yeah so many people so many there's yeah. always something out there that somebody's looking for and you a, never have, know if you have that answer. I have a question for you. What's up? So, like, as a creator, what can you not live without? Mm. Like, what do you need every day as a creator? I know what I need every day as a creator. I think we all need numbers, right? <laughs> Damn, <laughs> Liz, <laughs> obviously. I mean, let's be completely I'm honest. About like, I'm talking about it's probably like something physical. Um, me, personally, uh, I <laughs> the would scrubs, say... scrubs, boy. <laughs> no, no, I would say... <laughs> the scrubs. I would say working out. Uh, if I go a day without working out, except for the weekends, like those are my rest days. If I go a day without working out, my body feels like absolute poo. I feel horrible. Like that's something I do every single day. And it's what keeps me, keeps me motivated. If I, I, we talked about this before, mm-hmm. um, but if I don't go to the gym and sweat my butt off and feel like I just destroyed my body in a workout, I feel like I didn't accomplish anything in that day. Like I just... I have to do that. That's hot. Like, that's hard work to me. If I don't go do some type of physical hard labor, I didn't get anything accomplished. And that's mm-hmm. something that I need to work on because, like, that's not the case. You know, you can sit at home and you can, you know, work on videos in your room or you can go go outside and practice dancing. I could go do a lot of other things, especially in this house. But, like, if I don't work out, to me, like, that's something that um, holds me back a lot. Liz? Um, so I'd pretty much say the same, but instead of actually going to the gym, I'd say dancing. I mm-hmm. have to like dance. I remember at one point I, I have took never a break. seen her dance in my life. <laughs> I took a break um, for a few like a month or something, and I didn't like move my body whatsoever. And I promise you, I've never felt like lower in my life. I was mm-hmm. like, I don't know. I feel like dancing and just like like singing and just like making videos like overall is a confidence booster for me. Like I have to like constantly do it because if not, I kind of forget who I am. Mm. type thing so i have to like you know do something like that for sure mm. i need the people around me that's to be good filling me with laughter and happiness oh, we didn't think about that one. because i think that's one of my most organic content comes out and those usually always do so well it could just me be in the streets like playing with like my friends or my cousin or just laughing showing off our outfits otd me like Ooh. bad dancing with like my boyfriend and stuff Ooh. like that video that like ashley sent of me mm-hmm. and kubi at the sip and paint i think got like six million views and gems we were like literally not even just vibing yeah we're just vibing and i feel like for me that is what I need as a content creator. Yeah. I cannot survive and like even if it was making me all the money in the world. I feel like faith just opened up a door, you know, to like say, um, when you do content creation, you can burn out. And when you burn out, you need that support system. Mm-hmm. That 100%. support system is so important. Sometimes to just back away from it and just go live life. Because you know, obviously you got to always think about it, create and all that stuff. But having a support system, like, that is so real. Yeah. Mm, like you, Yeah. Everything. Like, sometimes you don't want to think about it. And you just want to kind of, like, just, like, just chill with your people or, like, do things with your people. Yeah. You know? So, it's, like, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Have fun with people. What about you? Good one. Um, oh, my shoes. I can't live without my shoes and my content. <laughs> you know why? Because that's what I do. I cannot live without my shoes. Um, that's because I dance. So, I need my shoes to dance. So how did you guys all get started? So what is you guys' Damn, story? Liz, thanks for acknowledging my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you guys get started? Let's Let get me, this guy out of right here. Right to the point. <laughs> Let's see, yeah. Um, okay, so who, um, you start. I st- Oh, here we go, here we go. It's going to be long. Oh, my God. Make it short and sweet. Hey, you're a hater, bro. Go get your scrubs and nets. Oh, hating it. Mm-hmm. All right, so how did I start? I started practicing dance. I started, like, trying to get good at it. I was really bad at it. <laughs> Dance for on like five years, trying to get better and better and better. And then one day, you know, I was always trying to go viral, but I didn't know how to. One day I did a video in Wynwood um, in front of Coyo Taco. Wynwood, you know, mm-hmm. come on now. Mm-hmm. Come on now. There's a vlog coming out. All right. So, yeah, we went to Wynwood. I did a video there and it popped off, got shared on Worldstar, everything. Back then, Worldstar was a big thing. It was before TikTok. So it was like, whoa, I got shared on Worldstar. I gained like 200,000 followers on Instagram before TikTok, which was a good thing. 
it's very hard to do um i just started dancing and started dancing and then the next year after that now uh, i flopped horribly it went downhill from there i don't know what i was doing anymore and then tiktok came around and then i started i did like a moonwalk in front of like two police officers shout out to y'all if you ever see this yeah so that hit like 70 million and then i got my first million on tiktok and then i just got obsessed with it and then started dancing in every store every public place possible um yeah i mean i just started practicing dancing and just put it on social media nice and gliding hey. not moonwalking gliding <laughs> it's a dance style faith what about you um well i like i touched on the fact that like my hair growth videos mm -hmm. kind of took me off but like you know that tiktok sound like i just needed the platform mm -hmm. i had the platform and then i was like pivot like let's do stuff that i really want to do Yo, yeah you know like now that i got the the spotlight on me like what do i really want to talk about yeah you know mm -hmm. and i feel like for me it's like um you know i was a pageant winner in like my high school and i feel like that was very like yeah. kind of controversial because i'm obviously like not a size two and you know i was like Ever since I was younger, I've just always been really ambitious, no matter my size. So I was like, okay, well, let me just see if there's girlies out there like me that like to wear whatever they want or, you know, and I kind of took off with that, you know, and I think, you know, that's kind of like somewhat of my niche is just really fashion, you know, letting girls wear whatever they want. And I kind of started blowing up off of like simple things like me just doing a try on haul of like regular clothes. Like people were just so in awe of it. I think it was like, it was weird, but now I've just kind of, R rode the wave of yeah. like just wearing whatever you want and being happy in that and i feel like i'm gonna ride that wave till the brakes fall off so yeah what about you? girl as you freaking yeah. shit, come on what about you Jalen? Jalen. <laughs> um so i already kind of touched on it as well the whole oh you, you know, did i remember yeah. you said yeah. how you popped off yeah uh, so I, I basically just posted a trend it went viral and then um from there on i just started posting before I started doing any like dancing in my medical sales in my scrubs, like all that stuff, um, I was doing like just mini vlogs here and there, like days in the life type of stuff. And people loved it. Um, I'm a retired college athlete and a medical sales rep. So they were like, wow, this is like pretty like this is this is interesting. You know, he's relatable, but he's also got some things going on. So he don't want to say the truth. It's his body, the way he looks. <laughs> He was dancing without a shirt, all that stuff. Come oh on now, Jaden. Let's be real now. Come on, come on, come on. I look come bad on. right now. I need a haircut. I'm getting one tomorrow. Don't worry about it. Um, but yeah, mine, real simple. Um, I'm blessed, very blessed for sure. I'm glad I had the opportunity and the opportunities to use the platform that I have. So, Liz? Liz! Um, <clears throat> so, I honestly, I've been making like content creating since I was little. So, when TikTok started, I remember I had downloaded the app very early. It was like maybe the middle of 2019, and it was full of little kids. Like, you know, you guys know Dub Smash? Mm -hmm. You guys know Dub Smash? You know, it was just a bunch of little kids just dancing. That's what TikTok essentially was when I downloaded it. So, I deleted it, and then I <laughs> downloaded it again. Um, I think the end of 2019, and then I just kind of I didn't post. I didn't start posting anything. I would just watch people's videos. And I was like, okay, so let me just start posting dance videos since I see, like, so many cool dances and stuff. So I started kind of just, like, learning dances here and there. Um, and I just kept on practicing and practicing until I started actually having some viral dance videos. And I used to post a little bit of everything, just, like, dance, comedy. And I had maybe, like, 115K by then, right? And then I... How'd you get 115K? Huh? By dancing, dancing and making oh. funny videos. Like I had a few viral videos. And then so I started seeing people make transition videos. And I was like, I would never do that. You know how much like work? Because those transition videos were like they looked very like challenging and complicated and looked like it took so much time. So I was like, absolutely not for me. So I tried one and I threw a shoe like I think in my room or something. And it was a really expensive shoe. And a bunch of like little gemstones actually fell off. And it was my mom's shoe. And I still remember that. But. I started making a bunch of those videos and then I made one and it completely popped off went stupid viral and after that I was like time to secure the bag so I just started going off going off going off and then I started um basing my videos on like artists specifically so like for example Michael Jackson I incorporated his most like iconic outfits and like dance moves and I kind of just like 
put it all together. So I added like dance moves. I did the whole shoe thing and I just incorporated everything I kind of like just because I love the performing arts as well. So just highlighting that and then I just kept on doing it until, you know, now I'm here. It becomes an obsession. Yeah. <laughs> Love that. It's crazy. I have, a, I have an interesting <coughs> question. I don't know if it's a good question or not, but I'm going to ask it. I want to know, like, what's each person's uh, hate comment? Like, like <laughs> what, what do we get, like, as a hate comment? Mm. Like, like starting with Jalen. Like, what does a hate comment f- on Jalen James' page look like? Oh, man. Honestly, my hate comments are just... Look at that like, jock. <laughs> look at that jock. It's like... No, <laughs> probably the one that bugs me the most. And honestly, I, I'm very like unfazed by hate comments. Like they don't bother me at all. But like some of them, or one of them that I really like is just like, why would you even say that? Is when people they'll come on my page and they'll be like, a 24 year old man is doing this, <laughs> and I'm like, okay. And you're how old coming to my page to comment that? Like you lose. Sorry, you take the L on this one. But it's just like, bro, everybody's doing, like, everybody has a different career in their life. Like, don't mm. judge people based on what they're doing just because you're doing something different. Like, everyone has a purpose, and just because it's different from yours doesn't mean that what they're doing is corny or cheesy in any type of way. And I ask these questions because I want to, like, show people that we really actually don't care. Yeah. We embrace it. 100%. Like, honestly, like, these hate comments, it's fun to talk about because... You know, they don't really bother us in a way. Yeah, know, like, like like the whole, like, like the comment I was just talking about, like, yeah, I'm 24 years old and I'm on TikTok living in a content house, but I went to college and graduated. I played four years at a Division One college. I, uh, I've i made six figures my first year out of college. I mean, I've accomplished things in my life that I know I'm more than beyond proud of. So I don't care what someone on the internet has to say about what's going on in my life. I know what's got going on in my life and what God has planned for me. That's why I hate comments. They just don't really phase me. Liz? Honestly. I'm interested to know what Liz's hate comments sounds like. You know like. what? <laughs> you know what's crazy? If, if I, I, I'm sure I get a lot of hate comments, but I almost never see them. But the one that I, I've seen, I think the most often was just like, you're too skinny. Like, do you even eat? I feel like no dead ass straight up like I'm pretty sure that's <laughs> no true way. Like, you're too what? skinny like you're I'll, a stick I would have never Javier why'd that. you bring this up bro cause I get I get so mad when I like when people talk about me I don't care whatever y'all got when the you talk about other y'all people, got the football player man I'm, when y'all, when y'all talk about up. other people I'm like why what what is your incentive to go on someone else's page and talk about how they look what is the meaning of that? <laughs> why about, do you? He about to. He about to why tackle do you do someone? that? It's like, just because they're mad. I mean, it's fine. I mean, I mean, it's I, feel, a, I feel like I feel like people will say anything. Honestly, oh no, it's that's like what a they do. Of people will say anything. Really mind, to be honest. I mean, like, like it, it's a, like everybody's different. Everybody got like a some like everybody. You know, like they're gonna find something regardless. You can't. Even the most successful people have had the most brutal hate comments. 100%. Like, come on, like, you know, like, Jake Paul, mm-hmm. Charlie, Lil Huddy, all these people got all the hate in the world when they first started. You don't remember that? Like, oh, they yeah. were getting hate, hate, yeah. hate. So I feel like, like, I feel like this is something that just comes with a career. I, I just feel it's funny to, like, see what a person receives, you know? Like, because, like, sometimes, like, for you, I didn't, I didn't, like, I was like, what is the hate comment that Liz will receive, you mm-hmm. know? Like, like, she does transitions and you know like i don't know oh that transitions bad or something <laughs> like what i was like, <laughs> I was like I, what's the hate comment um for me it's obvious i mean people think i do the same dance moves if you think that come battle me and let's see what happens mm, um mm, if you mm, haven't seen me in talk, person if you talk. see me if you actually see me dance there's a difference between a video and in person so that's what i'm saying come I, to the mother in street step up come y'all will get served in this <laughs> You got you got that one. Yeah. Step up, yeah, y'all, y'all get, get served. served. Ooh, yeah. that's two movies in one. That's a bar. Um, <laughs> Faith, hmm. what does a hate comment for you look like? They look pretty gnarly compared to y'all's. Which one? <laughs> which one's one like that you like? Faith, I'll be like, wanting to beat ass when I come to your comments. <laughs> but the, 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 the funny thing with Faith is she'll address it in the most slick way. Oh yeah. <laughs> Will, Faith will, don't take it though. I will profit off of a, a hate comment. No yeah, because the, those no videos do well. <laughs> yeah. People love to see that they shit. They do. I feel like, you know, for me, they kind of roll off. But I think one of the comments that always sticks with me because I made a video about like the hypersexualization about bigger bodies and it was like really big. We got, got featured on BuzzFeed. Mm-hmm. And I got interviews from different sites about it. Is somebody saying that she deserves to be R word for dressing the way she does? 
Goodness gracious. She deserves to be what? R word. Don't want to say the word. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, damn. Yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Yo, these people are wild. I'm telling you, Said bro. That? I didn't yeah. even know what's, you know Yo, what? Yeah, they were like, if you wear something like that out, like, you deserve to be R word. You know what blows my mind? Damn, Faith. I told you, it's pretty gnarly. Y'all talking what about you're a bad dancer. <laughs> people said, I deserve a salt. <laughs> damn. So, it's pretty intense. What blows my mind is the fact that there is that much hate in someone's heart i just Definitely. i don't get it i like it it blows my mind it, i can't process it i feel like they see someone empowered and they want to feel empowered themselves mm -hmm. so they try to like they try to take you down yeah they want to take you down because they want to show you that you're not better than them even though you're not even trying to be better than them. Mm -hmm. that's the, that's you're the, already better than them you don't need to show that off all right according to liz you're better than them so you're better than <laughs> exactly. them exactly all right Oh my I'm goodness. Kidding. You're not better than anybody. Do not compare yourself to anybody. You have to compare yourself to yourself. Comparison is a calling killer. It's a work your way. Fun fact my yearbook senior quote was, I'm better than you. Oh. Okay. We're going to end it right there. We're well going to end then. it right there. It <laughs> wrap it, wrap it up like a gift. Hey, that was a good, good, good little conversation. What was you guys' um, quotes, actually? I didn't, I do want I didn't, I didn't do a, a picture. Quote. I didn't do the picture. We didn't do senior quotes. Oh. I didn't do the picture. Mine was, thanks to everybody that said no to me, I'm doing it myself. Mm, come Her. here. Give me, give me some. Talk. That's literally, that was mine. Yeah. Talk. Well. Wrap it up like a gift. Wrap it up. Y'all heard it here first, man. First episode of the Last to Leave podcast. We appreciate y'all. We love y'all. And we'll see y'all in the next one. See you guys. Bye.